Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pentiment. So it's been one week since the last episode, and I apologize for that delay. Uh, you see, the reason why, why I have been uploading rather irregularly for the past month, month and a half, is because I decided to take this one course at the university uh, this summer, and I have been studying and preparing myself for the exam, which I had today, or yesterday on Friday, depending when I get this video uploaded, and I think I did pretty okay, so I'm happy about that. But anyway, so what happened in the last episode? So Otto, the peasant who was leading this peasant rebellion against the abbot, was murdered last night on St. John's Eve, and the peasants are convinced that it was the abbot who murdered him, because those two were at odds. But it couldn't have possibly been the abbot, because he was with us the whole time. And now we are trying to find out who the murderer was, but we only have one day. The peasants don't really have that much patience right now, and they really, really wanna uh, put the abbot's head on a pike, no doubt. But we managed to convince them that, hey, give us at least one day to investigate this whole case, so we can find out who actually murdered Otto. But we have only one day, so that's a bit stressful, because we have quite a few leads, some of them which may lead us nowhere, at least not to the killer. So I have to think carefully and choose wisely that which lead we are gonna follow, because if we go, for example, hunting with, what was his name, the Miller, Lenhart or something. So if we decide to go hunting with him to the mountains, he may not know anything, or at least he doesn't know who the murderer is, and will be wasting a whole day for nothing. So what I want to do now is to try and find the location where the yellow flowers are from, because... Uh, where did we find the yellow flowers again? Was it at the body? Or did it drop from this one fellow in a costume, uh, sprinting away in the dead of night here in the woods? And, and whom the abbot was chasing, I believe. Well, I don't remember. But, whatever the case, let's try to find those yellow flowers first, before we decide how to proceed from here. That which lead to follow. So, without further ado, uh, let's go. So, that leads us out of the woods. We must have missed it here somewhere. We have been... here, I believe. Yes, we have. Hmm, where does this take us? Master, I think I see an opening behind these trees that leads to a leads to a deeper area of the forest. Could this be where that mysterious costumed figure uh, uh, figure ran when Otto was murdered? We should see where it leads. It could take a while though. Oh god damn it, this is one of those options as well. Hmm, we'll come back when we have more time. Or oh, let's just get going. I mean, let's think about this. The other options that we have are uh, going uh, going to hunt with Lenhart and listen what he has to say, that what he knows. We can go to the uh, church and and eavesdrop on the people uh, confessing to Father Thomas, and and hopefully one of them will confess that they have murdered someone. Or we go to the tavern. Was it was it called the Golden Hand? And Buy everyone a round of drinks and hope that someone spills the beans and and admit that and admit that they have murdered someone while while drunk. Or we just follow this path and and hope for the hope for the best that we find the yellow flowers. Hmm. I guess that we could also go and talk to Martin as well, because I believe that he and Otto were arg arguing about something, but. I don't believe that Martin did it, even if they had some disagreements, because they were both against the abbot. They were on the same side. Inside, there's no, there's no point to kill your potential ally, is there? But of course, it, it also depends that what they were arg arguing about, I suppose. Okay, well, let's go and uh, try and find Martin. And talk to him briefly before we make that decision. That which lead to follow. I believe that he's uh, not here, not quite. Martin Bauer Farm. Okay, he should be here. Brigitte, cat. And we can't enter. We can't enter his house. 
Where is he? Oh, there he is. Hello, Martin. Hello, Andreas. Oh, we can't talk to him. Okay. Okay. Well, so much from that. I guess we. I guess we all have to make this decision. It's such a shame that I can't save scum in this game and uh, and to and reload later and choose the up and choose one of the other options in case this one leads us uh, leads us nowhere. I suppose we just go and uh, follow this trail because the hooded figure, the 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 figure in a costume that was sprinting away in last night is quite sus. So let's just follow where he where he went. Ready to see where this goes, Master? Yeah, let's let's get going. Oh, ancient Roman ruins. What are these buildings? What is this place? It's some kind of Roman ruin, like the aqueduct in the meadow. Look, Master. Uh, look, Master Andreas. The flowers. Well, we found the flowers. Ah, finally. Maybe we'll find something useful after all. I hope so. Let's look around. Okay, so what is this? A Roman depiction of a nymph. There's an inscription underneath. Probably a dedication. Hmm. I don't know Latin, so... Okay, so we got a... an occultist option here. The Romans believed that keeping the nymph of the spring happy would ensure their water stayed fresh. Tutasia, nymph of the spring. Uh, Publius Metellius Flavus... Uh, perfect, perfect of Ratium has paid his vow willingly, the, uh, deservedly, in the consulship of Anaenus and Kiltus. Well, let's go with the occultist option. This assistant must have doubled as her temple. Okay. Interesting. And more interesting murals. Okay, so is this a well? What do we have here? More Latin. I didn't expect to see any Latin inside and inside an aqueduct. Quintus has set these stones while Aulus fucked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aulus knew how to have a good time. A lot of these flowers are growing here. Okay, what about these murals? What does that say? This Latin is carved sloppily into the stone. That's odd. We work and the perfect gets paid. Jupiter may he may he be paid justly. Sounds like what the peasants are saying. Even the Romans struggled under harsh restrictions and taxes. We haven't come so far after all. What do we have here? Oh, is that a, is that the costume he was wearing? Is that what it looks like, Master Ma uh, Master Andreas? Yes, the costume the killer was wearing when they ran past us. Well, we don't know know if he was the killer for sure yet. So much for us finding it in the home of the killer. So the killer is not, is not a complete moron. Well, perhaps there is a clue inside. Besides the yellow flower, that's not, that's not much of a clue. Oh, cut! When Florian examined the code of Baron Rotvogel, and we... I have you, Master Andreas. Casper, go get help. Just pull him up. I won't let you fall. I wanted to look at this, too. It's not a long drop. Just get someone to bring rope. I can't abandon you, Master. Casper, get help. Bringing me a rope isn't abandoning me. Without a long sigh of resignation. Bringing me a rope isn't abandoning me. I suppose that's true. Oh god damn it! Now no one is getting the rope. 
shit, I wanted to look at the murals on the walls too. There was more stuff to look at. Well, we are all wet, but I don't think I heard anything. I guess that wasn't really that long of a fall. The important thing is that, that you aren't hurt. Let's focus on getting out of here. Yes, that's what I said. That's why I wanted you to get a rope. Stare uh, palefully. Well, whatever. The important thing is that you aren't hurt. Of course, master. I wish we had a little more light down here. I can see a thing. Can you? I'm going to look around and see if I can find a way out. Okay, is there anything to look at here? Now, oh, what are you doing? I'm oh, making a torch. Well, I don't think that that wet piece of cloth is gonna burn. Uh, it's gonna burn very well. Or the wood, for that matter. Well, okay, that's good enough. Does this work? Oh, yes, it does, Caspar. Very much so. Oh, we can talk to him. I must admit, I'm in I'm impressed. I just remembered how flammable these brush racks are. Why were you carrying around the flint and steel? Well, you never know when you might need some fire. Of course, clearly true. Quot erat demonstrandum. Something about demonstration. Thus it, thus it has, has been demonstrated. What is this place? A sister. It must collect water from the spring to feed to feed it into the aqueduct. The aqueduct in the meadow? I suppose so. Then all we need to do is follow it back. Perhaps. I kinda wanna go back up there though. Okay, there's stairs here. Let's see if, if, there's, if there's anything here. No, okay. Okay, we have a lower aqueduct. Okay, guess we go through here. We can't go this way because of this rubble. It looks like the tunnel collapsed here, Master. It must lead toward toward the town. It looks like there is a gap. Do you want me to try to squeeze through? Absolutely not, it's too dangerous. I don't know, it's, it seems risky. Yes, I would like to know what's on the other side. No, it's too dangerous. Of course, Master, there must be another way we can go. Like this way. We are going up, that's a good sign. We could go there, but let's see where this leads us. These aqueducts are more impressive than I thought. Aha, we, it led us, leads us to the meadow. Okay. Okay, dokie. Now that now that we know that, that it, now now that we know that it leads outside, let's uh, check what's over here first. Ah, oh, more rubble. Where do you think uh, where do you think this goes? Well, it goes up, so it probably leads out. I don't think I can squeeze through that gap. We need to find something to move the rocks, something to give us leverage. Wait. Huh? I just heard the sound of rats. Never mind, let's uh, find a way out of here. We won't be able to escape through all this heavy rubble. Yes, yes. I need to find something to get leverage on the rocks. Well, I, I haven't seen anything that we could use a lev as a leverage. Maybe there's a piece of wood or something uh, back where, where we fell down to. But uh, let's just go through this way. Okay, I guess uh, 
jump across. Yes, let's see. Why don't we, why don't we just fall down? Can you jump? Good boy. Okay, I guess we just keep moving. Okay, we can go here. Well, might as well. Hmm. Stairs up. Are we underneath someone's house? We could also be underneath the abbey. That's possible. Well, before we do anything there, let's see where else this leads us. Upper aqueduct crypt. Now we're going to the crypts now. Does this lead us to the abbey? To the abbey crypts? Okay, and... Hmm, curious. But I want to see where else this... Uh, where else this goes. And in case we find something interesting... Ah, never mind. Just more... more pile of rubble. Hmm. So the murderer could have used this aque aqueduct way to... Uh, to leave the forest. But now the question is, where did he go from there? Like, did he... did he go through here? I assume that the other... I assume that hatch we just saw leads, leads to the abbey. What about here? There's a big grate. Maybe we can get out and get out of that way. It's too high for either, either of us to reach. Climb on my shoulders and see if you can push it out of the way. Hmm, I don't recognize this place. Uh, this place. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks like a kitchen. The Abbey kitchen. What else is up here? Does it look like the Abbey kitchen to me? I don't think so. It's it's big though. Of course, we must be under the convent. Do you see any of the nuns? No. Hello? Well, the murderer uh, couldn't have possibly gone through this way then. Nothing. Where could they be? Unless he had help, of course. I doubt the sisters loiter in the kitchen all day long. Can you lift the crate off? Ah, there's some shit in the way. There's something heavy above me. I can only lift a little, uh, a, a little, and I don't think I can squeeze through. Ah, oh, but look at that. There's something interesting here. I might be able to reach. Now that's the leverage that we were looking for. I got a fire poker. Excellent, we can use it to move the rocks and get out of here. That might come in hand handy. Uh, hold on to it for now. Well, we can move the rocks now. Oh, of course, master. Yeah, you hold on to that. So we are underneath the abbey. And convent. And what about the hatch here? Is it uh, shut tightly? Is it uh, tight shut? Or can we open it? Let's see. Casper. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Is this a door? Mm, it appears to be so... Uh, it, it appears to be so a strange one. Where does it go? I'll try to nudge it. I can't say, but but it must have been built much more recently than the rest of the aqueduct. It must be another secret entrance into the abbey. And someone is blocking the way. Okay. 
but it must have been built much more recently than the rest of the aqueduct. Can we get out of this way? What's that sound, master? Snoring? Is someone sleeping on the other side of the door? Hey, wake up. If my sh if my shoving isn't waking them up, they are either dead, drunk or knocked out. What should we do, master? Well, we already have the uh, poker from the convent kitchen. We can try that on the stones and try to get out. Of course. Who the hell was that guy and why is he sleeping dead drunk? Uh, at the Abbey. Was that like the Abbey's uh, storage room? With all the wine and food and stuff? Well, that's weird. Okay, so I guess we are have to uh, get those rocks out of the way using this fire poker thingy. Okay, let's let's try it here first. Try using the fire poker from the kitchen to shift the rocks out of the way. Or we, we just do it. Wait, I still hear something. No, oh, Lenhardt, you shouldn't come here during the day. I had to. The farmers are out for blood. Oh, that's the innkeeper's wife, I believe. And? Don't play stupid, we both wanted Otto gone. Now he is. I didn't kill him, did you? Why would you ask me such a thing? Because of the note, you stupid, stupid cow. Because of the note that sent you into hysterics. Because you are behaving like a woman who committed a murder and is afraid of uh, being caught. How could you to Stop. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you did it or didn't. He's dead. The idiot peasants can beat the ground with their pitchforks and nothing will come of it. What about that artist, Andreas? He could be a problem. Have you done anything to raise his suspicions? I don't think so. Good, then just wait. Time will run out for Peter and the rest of his worthless kind. The abbot will stay in power. Pilgrims will keep coming to the shrine and staying at your inn. Yes, good. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Be quiet. Go home. Don't come here again unless it's for a quick fuck. <laughs> if you want comfort, talk to your fat husband. Don't bother me with your hysteria. I... of course. I'm sorry. Okay, so they do know something. And if we had gone uh, for hunting with Lenhardt, he would have led us astray, no doubt. I'm glad we are finally out of there, Master. What a strange adventure. Do you think Mistress Hannah could have killed Otto? She's only been pretending to care about the town's safety. She's only concerned with the shrine staying open. Why would that make her want to kill Otto? If the peasants over overthrew the abbot, they might loot or destroy the shrine. Without the hand of Saint Moritz, there is not much reason for pilgrims to travel to Kiersau. There would hardly be any visitors to the Golden Hand. Exactly. Now we know Hannah has a motive. It's possible she would kill to protect her family's in. Wait, how was Otto killed again? Oh, I believe that some rocks or stones or whatever were, were dropped onto him. I believe. We need to talk to Nico and Killian to, to see just how committed she was. Yeah, we know those two. Her husband and son. But first, let's go back to the guest house and clean up. 
People will get suspicious if we walk around in a town like this. Good idea, Master. I kind of wanted to go because there was another pile of rubble that we could have also uh, investigated. Hannah and Lenhard. Okay, I think it's a safer bet to go and talk to Hannah and her family, of course, because Lenhard is not going to say anything. He is not going to admit a damn thing. But it also sounds like they don't know who killed Otto either. But they did mention the notes. I wonder, is the abbot here? Hmm. Oh. Well, someone has been ransacked in this place. Could the killer have been one of the uh, priests? Or monks? It's very unlikely. But hey, who knows? You can never be too sure, I guess. But that se secret entrance way uh, does lead to the Abbey, so it's possible that one of the monks went and killed Otto and then used the aqueduct to uh, to get back to the Abbey without anyone uh, seeing them. But I want to go back to that place actually. I, th I just want to look at the, ru the Roman ruins some more, just for fun. Or not. Apparently we can't go back there. Well, that sucks. I wanted to look at some of the murals some more and whatever and whatever else there was to there was to look at. Well, crap. Okay. Well, so much from that. Let's go to the golden hand then. Ah. Oh, okay. Guess we talk to Killian. Hello, Killian. Do you have a moment? Uh, sure. What do you need? Is something wrong? No, no, I wanted to know if you had noticed anything odd about your mother lately. Odd how? Does she ask you to watch the inn by yourself very often? Oh, well, sometimes, I guess. Dad and I look after the place more in the evenings when she gets tired, but... Lately she's been leaving to insect. She says she brings food over to the townsfolk at, at the rat house. So I usually watch the inn until she gets back. Hmm. There was one other time. Hmm, yes. Mom left in a hurry one night, and when I was clean cleaning up around the bar, I found this note. Mm hmm. He will destroy the Abbey. He will swallow the hand of St. Moritz, the rat house, after St. John's fire. The Rat House, after St. John's Fire. Hmm, another note. I have seen several like this before. So that was the note that the woman was so hysterical about. Oh, but what does it mean? Hmm, St. John's Fire. I wonder if that means the bonfire. Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing. Could, could one of the guests have left the note? I think the note was meant for your mother. Well, could one of the guests have left it? I don't think so, Master Muller. I found it uh, tucked under under the money chest. The note could have been for one of your parents, then. But why? I don't know. I don't want anyone to destroy the Abbey, even if the Abbey is cruel to the peasants. I'll keep that from happening, Killian. Don't worry. Ulrich is keeping Peter calm, for now. Hmm. I'll keep... I'll keep that from happening. I hope the note helps, Master Muller. Just don't tell mom or, just don't tell mom or dad, all right? All right, Killian, I won't say anything. This note might have bigger connections than you think, Killian. I should get back to work. See you later, Master Muller. Until then. Okay, well, and what about the husband, Nico? Master Miller, if it, 
If it's not too forward, I was wondering if you would do my family the honor of joining us for meal. Hmm, interesting. Actually, I would like to talk about your wife. Well, well, we can talk about her as well during dinner. Well, I guess we can talk about her first. Anna, what about her? Do you know what she gets up to over by the Ro Roman ruins? You know she's fucking the Miller. Well, let's not be that forward. Well, do you know what she does at the Ro Roman ruins? I... Yes, yes. I'm sorry, it must be hard for you. Are you fine with that? Pathetic. It must be hard for you. Quite, but I love her, and I have to think of Killian. Okay, so he knows. I just don't know what to do. I don't really understand her. Women are mysterious and remain so. I don't often understand my wife either. What are we to do? Accept that your marriage is going to be miserable? All I know is that something has to change. An unhappy marriage is a wretched way to live. In my experience, you could just have your own affairs. Enjoy your life as she does hers. I mean, it's only fair. I can do that. It's sinful. Do, un do unto others as they do unto you. Although it's possible you don't have to worry about her for, for too long. She is glad Otto died, did you know that? Showed sympathy for what Nico was going through. How is that negative thing? I don't quite understand this. I'm, I'm sure I don't know what you mean. I think you do. Really? She never said anything about Otto to you? I think you do. No, no, I don't. Now please leave me be. As you wish. Until later. Well, I guess we won't be having that dinner then. Or? If you're not... If, I, if it's not too forward, I was wondering if you if you would do my family the honor of showing us for a meal. Okay, I guess we are doing that. I think if you spend some more time with Hannah, you'll see she couldn't have committed that horrible crime. Hmm, well we don't have any other... Or can we do anything else at this point? Because having having a meal now will... It's probably gonna be night time by the time we are done. Or late in the evening anyway. Is there anything else that we can do? We could go and talk to Lenhardt, maybe? But he also doesn't seem to know who killed... Uh, who... Who killed Otto. Well, it's possible that he did it too, but... He was also having dinner at that time with his two other friends or whatever. Could they have a light for him? I suppose that's possible. But I wonder, could... Can we go... Can we go and, uh... Can we go for that hunting trip? I don't even know if we can go to hunting. I mean, it's getting quite late here. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that we can. Of course, whatever. Let's have that dinner or meal. Andreas, welcome, welcome. It's always a pleasure to have new conversation at our table about what's been going on in town. Yes, a fresh perspective is always welcome. The inn always benefits from different opinions. Let's see if we, if we can freak you out during this meal. I'm always happy to share my thoughts, thank you for having us. Oh, I don't think I have the expertise to comment on the, ho on the troubles between the peasants and the abbey. Hmm. Always happy to share my thoughts. Good, good. Let's tuck in. Okay, what do we have? Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty. Though Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 So, Master Muller, I hear, I hear tell that this is a return visit to Tassing. Has the town changed much since your last visit? Well, the, the golden hat wasn't here. The town certainly feels much smaller, but my fortunes have improved, and I have been living in bigger cities since then. Well, the gold, golden hand is new. Having an inn uh, is a big change in such a small town as Tassing. Things seem to be harder for everyone, especially the peasants. Well, the Golden Hand wasn't here. Yes, the peasants especially took their time in getting used to us. 
The monks at the Abbey have always been gracious, though. True, but the abbot is firm in his dealings. He does seem like a prickly sort of man. You have no idea. Caspar, don't speak about Father Kerr, not that way. The abbot was harsh before, but he seems much more severe now. Yes. Hmm, I, I understand his need to enforce the rules, but being needlessly strict is different. Okay, so what do we have here? Salmon, pork pie, and pork and bread pottage. Oh, this sounds good. Let's start with the salmon. Otto had been getting more and more vocal with his speeches. I'm sure you heard his most recent one, Andreas. I want to support the peasants in their troubles, but I do worry that Otto's death will stir up more trouble than it's worth for the inn. Your wife thinks so too. The peasants aren't bothering us, Nico. They need to speak their minds. Besides, their coin counterbalances any lost revenue from the Abbey and, and its guests. I think Otto had the right idea. These restrictions have gone on uh, have gone on too long. Otto's speeches put the town in danger. He was already drawing attention. His death will only cause more trouble. Hmm. Should we? Should we go? Or should we say that we agree with Otto? Which option would freak her out the most? Hmm. His death will only cause more trouble. Well, that's true, if the events of the last night is any indication. I mean, they almost killed the abbot, pretty much. Hmm. Well, Otto's speeches put the town in danger. That's certainly true. Hmm. God damn it. Well, his death will only cause more trouble. I hadn't considered that, Andreas. I suppose it would be safer for the town if the peasants stopped all this now. Hmm. The matter is not uh, for us to decide anyway. Oh, I pick up the pork pie. That's fine. Hey, I did hear Ulrich say he saw more of the Duke soldiers near town today. That's nothing but, but a rumor, Killian. Hmm, that could cause problems for Tsasing, especially if the abbot uh, gets involved. Oh, I don't think the abbot would call the soldiers into town to start trouble. You have seen the soldiers more recently, Andreas. What do you think? Times are changing, and the peasants know it. The abbot had better keep up if he wants to keep the peace. Hmm, true. If the abbot agreed to deal with the peasants' demands, then all would be resolved quickly. Peter didn't seem like he would take no for an answer. The abbot and Peter are both stubborn men. By the grace of God, things can be resolved peacefully. Hmm, not likely. Okay, let's take the pork and bread. Hanna, you were pretty vocal after Otto's speech the other day. Really? You spoke up, Mom? I thought you said you weren't going to get involved, Hanna. Oh, I'm just looking out uh, for the peasants. I didn't think my few words could cause any harm. I understand, it's difficult not to want to fix things. It's better to keep well out of the issue. Mm, I understand, it's difficult not to want to fix things. I agree, Andreas, but I'm afraid I may have been wrong to speak out. Hmm. No matter what happens, we are a part of the community. Being involved in what happens is important. Oh, we couldn't actually freak her out or anything. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, speaking of the community, I should get back to work. Yes, there's always much to do. Thank you for sharing your perspective, and perspective, Andreas. Thank you for the meal, Hannah. It was excellent. You're welcome back any time, especially so Killian can learn more from Kaspar's well-behaved example. Mom? Mm, yeah, it's compliant time. 
Well, I want to speak to Hannah before we leave. Hello, Master Muller. Anything I can do for you? Mm, yes, actually. You must want a break from all the work sometimes. A way to let off steam. I don't understand, Andreas. I know what do you do by the Roman ruins. I know you are cheating on your husband with uh, Lenhard. But really, Hannah, Lenhard, you could do better. Hmm. I know what you do by the Ro Roman ruins. Oh, God. How did you know? Did Lenhard tell you? I overheard the two of you talking by the old aqueduct. It doesn't matter. It's not hard to figure out. You are the most beautiful woman in the town. It, it, it's exactly what I would do if, if I were him. Sure, let's butter her up. God, Andreas, you are you are as bad as him. Does, does Nico know? Hmm. Which one of these options would uh, benefit us the most? We could blackmail her. Tell her that... No, Nikota said no, but if you don't start talking, he will know soon. Even though he already knows. No. Thank God. It would ruin my adult husband. Adultery is a sin most vile. I can understand the urge, but why would you risk your happiness for someone like... Lenhart? Happiness? Ha! Huh. Why not? He's a handsome man, strong, forthright. He knows what he wants, a proper man. Hmm, shit. I guess I guess I should have uh, told her then that Nico knows already. Not like Nico. Nico is so boring, weak. He avoids taking a stance, avoids making the tough choices. I see. So when it comes to tough choices, If you're so willing to cheat on your husband, I would bet you would do whatever it takes to keep the inn running. Persuade Hannah, that agreed with Otto's ideas at dinner, told Hannah Nico doesn't know about a fair. Well, something tells me that this is gonna be a fail. Yeah. By God, Andreas, are you accusing me of killing Otto? I disagree with Otto, but why would I want to kill him? Look around, is Tassink better with him dead? First you hold the ruin of my family over my head, and now this? Unless there's anything more you need, I won't abide by this foolishness. Mm, no, Hannah, sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother you, I guess. Good day, Andreas. We can talk to her again, can we? What can I do for you? No, nothing, sorry to bother you. Okay, well, so much for that. I still don't quite understand how this reputation system works. What else should I have done besides agreeing with her at the dinner table? What else should I have done uh, to make that to make that uh, check a success? What else I should have done? I wonder. Okay, I've been playing for, I don't know, about 40-ish minutes. Guess we can at, at the very least go back. Alright. Should I end this episode here now, or... Well, let's just go to sleep first. It's getting late, I should get some rest. Yeah, go to sleep. Nothing else that we can do. So, do we go to the dreamlands now, or... Do we just skip to the morning? Hmm? Oh, they are back. Andreas, get up. Wake your boy too. Pete, what are you what are you all doing here? How the hell did you get in? Why, what happened? Yeah, why, what's happened now? We are finishing this. You are needed in the commons now. Let's go. We'll be asking the questions, Muller. All right, all right. We'll get dressed and get and and be along. 
Okay, well, I guess they couldn't wait till the, till morning. I don't know what's the difference here. I wake up. Master Andreas? What's going on? It's the middle of the night. Something's happening in the commons. Peter and the others want us there. Will we be alright, Master Andreas? Don't worry, I won't let anything happen to you. We'll be fine. Peter seems upset, but we should be fine, I think. Well, he's always upset. Don't worry, we'll be fine. Alright. Alright, now that everyone's here, we can start. Start? Start what? Wait, what the hell did you wake, wake me up for? Start what? We are holding a trial for Otto's murder. You are the one with the evidence. Are you mad? What about the law? We should wait for a judge, not uh, do this out, not do this ourselves. You woke me up for a trial. Peter, the Duke will pounce on any hint of rebellion. We can't let we can't let this go too far. Hmm. Somehow I don't think that they care about the law at this point. What about the Duke? He will pounce us. Uh, he will pounce on any hint of rebellion. This isn't a rebellion, Maller. This is justice. Well, what have you found? We are all waiting. Hold on. I have barely had a day to investigate. I can hardly come to a conclusion so soon. Answer the man. Please, Andreas. Give us the killer. Calm down, everyone. This isn't fair. Well, you would better fucking decide, Muller, or you can watch that damned Abbey go up in flames. Be quiet. I have a woman in labor right next door. This behavior is shameful. Oh, it's a Jewish woman. If she loses her child because of this fighting, it will be on your souls. Agnes is right. I know you want justice for my husband, for your friend, but I don't want things to get worse than they already are. Please, Dad, give Andreas a little more time. Yes, please. Fine. Andreas, you have got until that baby is born. After that, we'll claim our justice. What? You're saying that the baby isn't born yet? I thought the woman went to labor. Work fast, Muller. It's the right decision, Peter. Eh. Hm. Oh, great. Good evening, Tristan. Is it customary in Tassing that the people gather in the commons in the middle of the night? We do what we do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. Who's asking? My name is Tristan von Fraunberg. I'm here on behalf of the Duke of Bavaria. The Duke is aware that you have been distributing and discussing the twelve articles. He is also aware that you have been disputing conditions of taxation and land use with the Abbot of Kirsau. The Duke is merciful. He does not seek to punish Tassing for these disputes. Well, that's nice of him. But his mercy has limits. The Duke has become aware that you have imprisoned the Abbot and monks of Kirsau within the Abbey. This is insult. This is rebellion. For this, there can be neither tolerance nor mercy. You have until sunset tomorrow to vacate Kiersau Abbey and release the abbot and all the monks. Ah, so, oh, okay, so they have been trapped in the library all this time then. If this is not done, the duke's soldiers will enter the town and the abbey in force. As certain as night follows day, they will kill every man and boy who stands in their way. What? God protects us. Oh no! We never wanted to threaten the abbot, sir. We wouldn't listen. He wouldn't listen to our demands. We are starving. Such efforts were such efforts were necessary since the townsfolk are also suffering under the abbot's increased taxes. The duke is aware of the town's complaints and finds some merit in them. He believes some concession concessions can be made regarding the death tax and use of the forest for wood. Death tax. 
Of course, only under the strict condition that the abbot is released unharmed. And what do the peasants get? What about our taxes? What about the right to use the woods for grazing? For fishing? The duke is unwilling to make additional concessions. You can release the abbot and take what is offered, or you can remain defiant and face the consequences. It will yield you little, save steel and fire. Sunset, tomorrow. Well, shit. Shit's getting real. Rude awakening indeed. Okay, well this is this is the best this is the best uh, time to end this episode. So we got one more extra day. Soldiers approach final hours. Okay, we can read those in the next episode, or at least until the next sunset to find out who the murderer is. So let's try to figure that one out in the next episode. Maybe we should go for that hunting trip with Lenhart this time around and ask what he knows about Otto and the potential murderer. So, until then. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Pentiment.